Okay, so I want to show you guys what I was doing here. So I got my GPS holder, got my GoPro holder, and I didn't like any of the scooter trunks they had. I wanted something that was really waterproof, locked down nice and tight. And we're going to go into why. Um, I didn't want to just buy the scooter just to ride it. I wanted to put it to work. I wanted to make it reliable and put it to work. So I'm going to show you everything that we've done here today. And uh, that way you guys can have a grasp as to where I'm going with this. So this is a very nice uh, waterproof container. I just finished mounting this. I hated the scooter trunks that were out there. Not that it's any better. I mean, these things always look dirty on a scooter. They just don't fit. They don't look right. But at the same time, I'm putting the scooter to work, so it doesn't really matter. Plus, I need the extra storage. Underneath the seat, I'm going to put some tools. This is where I want to put food. So if you guys remember, I used to do Postmates. I hated beating my truck up with Postmates. You know, if I worked a full 10-hour day, yeah, I'd bring in over 100 bucks. But at the same time, I would burn $50 in gas. With this, I fill it up once a day for like 5 bucks. And if I make $100, my take-home is $95. Or if I make more than that, whatever, that's my take-home. So uh, if you guys don't know, in the state of Florida... They don't require that motorcycles or scooters have insurance. You just register at Gas and Go. In this case, I have to have an endorsement, which I've had for eight years, and my endorsement is still good. So this is a Class A motorcycle. It requires a motorcycle license because of the displacement of the engine and how fast it goes. So I went ahead and got this really nice uh, watertight case on here. And uh, that way I can put food in here. I'm going to line this with some aluminum foil. That way it stays nice and hot if I have hot food in there or cold food. Whatever I want to do, that locks into place really nice, mounted on there solid. And uh, then I went ahead and I got some cup holders here. For those of you thinking about doing a scooter, this is a really easy setup. These just screw right into the faceplate. And uh, as long as your glove box works, you still have complete full access of your glove box. Um, but these flip down, and of course, they hold any size cup that you want to put in there. You just pull on these and they extend to the size of the cup that you need. And when you're done, pop it, put it away. So I mounted two of those right here. So that's real easy. If I get my drinks for delivery, pull those right out. They sit right there. It doesn't affect my legs and uh, good to go. Then you put your food right up in here. And GPS, obviously, I still have to finish mounting this, but GPS, you know, put it in. And then I have one more thing left to do. I want to put a 12 volt uh, power supply right here so I can plug my phone cord in right to here and have power all day. So that's what we were deciding to do, not just ride it for moto vlogs, but I also wanted to use it. Uh, Put it to work now that uh, we know the reliability of the scooters there everything's good to go may as well use it for some work bring in a little cash flow uh i'm sure you guys understand that so the f-bomb is officially also the delivery scooter <laughs> but that's my setup um hope that helps anybody that was thinking about doing postmates or doordash or any of that stuff with a scooter it's really easy to set these things up uh two of these cup holders was like eleven dollars and a really nice plano sealed trunk um for this thing was like 16 bucks and then you just screw it right in and you're good to go obviously you don't need a gopro mount that's because i vlog um and then you know gps holder was like three dollars so very easy to set these things up to use them for delivery that's my suggestion uh, if you want to you could probably put a small cooler underneath the seat that we could keep cold drinks you know as an as a added bonus if anybody gets a glass bottle or plastic bottle you can throw it right in the cooler. I'm sure you'll get a nice tip for that. So, anyways, guys, don't worship from our beautiful Tampa, Florida. I'll catch you guys on the flip. Toodaroo. Good afternoon. Please give your attention to my associate, Agent J. He's going to demonstrate an electro-biomechanical neural transmitting zero synapse repositioner. We call it the Neuralizer. Keep it simple, Slade. Mm, thanks a lot. Thank you, Agent K. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you will, look right here. 